The former Pittsburgh Steelers All-Pro wide receiver Antonio Brown is working extensively to rebuild his image, reputation, and character, hoping for another chance in the NFL. Following his well-documented, drama-filled exit from the Steelers in 2019, Brown was supposed to enjoy a new chapter with the Raiders, but he brought a more unnecessary drama, from threatening to retire to angrily challenging GM Mike Mayock to skipping out on team practices. AB continued to make headlines for all the wrong reasons, and so Brown was released by the Raiders before week one of the 2019 campaign. The New England Patriots moved quickly to sign Brown, but he was released after playing just one game, following serious off-the-field allegations, legal troubles, and lawsuits. Brown didn't play again in 2019 after that. But fair or not, it only looks like a matter of time until Brown plays football again. NFL legend and Pro Football Hall of Famer Deion Sanders trained with Brown in the offseason, while offering emotional advice to him. Primetime also said that he can't wait to witness Brown's comeback story. A couple of weeks later, Brown shared a video of himself training with Seattle Seahawks quarterback Russell Wilson. During the 2019 season, ESPN's Adam Schefter also reported that Wilson pushed for Seattle to sign Brown. They instead chose to sign Josh Gordon, who didn't pan out as hoped. Any team that signs Brown knows they'll deal with plenty of public backlash, but the Seahawks are like the New England Patriots. They aren't afraid to take a guy with a ton of baggage, if they think he can help them win football games. The Seahawks love their reclamation projects. We already mentioned the Gordon signing, and they certainly didn't regret the Michael Bennett or Cliff Averill signings from the past. Looking around the league, only so many teams make sense as a landing spot for Brown. Plenty of teams won't even look at him. Tampa Bay Buccaneers head coach Bruce Arians quickly ruled out the possibility of signing Brown. Lots of teams also have enough depth at wide receiver, so they won't be keen on taking the risk of adding Brown. If there's one team who makes sense for Brown, it's Seattle. They check off most of the boxes for him. The fun-loving culture that Pete Carroll implemented, the fact that Carroll can help change Brown, the fact that Wilson is trained with AB and that he seems keen on working with the former pro bowler. Not only that, but Brown's skill set and playmaking abilities would make him a star in the Seattle offense. Wilson is a magician at maneuvering his way out of the pocket to extend plays. He also has one of the best deep balls the game has ever witnessed. Brown can work all over. He can stretch the field. He can work the middle. He can do a ton of damage on the outside. Tyler Lockett, one of the game's other deep threats, would create so much space for Brown. And that's before mentioning DK Metcalf, who had a superb rookie year with 58 receptions for 900 yards and 7 touchdowns. These three could totally form the best receiving trio in the league, with all due respect to Amari Cooper, Michael Gallup, and CeeDee Lamb in Dallas. Now, it's important to note that Brown will likely be suspended by Roger Goodell at some point due to his off-the-field problems. No way he'll play a full season in 2020. But a team like Seattle could decide to wait out the suspension in order to have Brown for their playoff push down the stretch. Similar to when the New Orleans Saints signed Des Bryant near the end of 2018, although he unfortunately suffered a torn Achilles before playing a single game for them. The Seahawks are in the tough NFC West. The San Francisco 49ers are the defending conference champions. The Arizona Cardinals are trending up with Kyler Murray and all-pro wideout DeAndre Hopkins, the Los Angeles Rams still have enough talent to make a run, too. Adding Brown could be the difference between a division title and missing the playoffs altogether for Seattle. The Seahawks can afford to take a chance on Brown. If he doesn't pan out, be it rust, poor play, or more attitude issues, they can cut their losses and move on. But given his track record and skill set, one can only assume that Brown would put up big time production in Seattle. Wilson obviously thinks Brown deserves a second chance, and again, Seattle has worked with trouble players before. So if they think Brown can help them compete for a Super Bowl, it shouldn't surprise anybody if he's wearing a Seahawks uniform in 2020. If he plays again, where do you think Antonio Brown will sign? Join us in that comment section below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton, and hey, we do appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to CPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.